So today we're going to be taking a look at a scenario where South Africa forms an empire. As promised, I will be doing this country as an empire, and it's in a uh, particularly interesting area here in Southern Africa. They have a lot of weaker neighbors around them, and they um, they have a very good path to expand. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel for new. We are getting super duper close to 50,000 subscribers, and like I've said in the previous videos, there's going to be something big for that, and I'm sure most of you know by now. Also, link to the Discord server in the description and in the pinned comment, most likely. I keep having problems with the invite, but hopefully I remember to uh, fix it this time. And yes, let's go ahead and jump right into the scenario. All right, so in right here, we have South Africa, and they are going to be forming their empire. They have a lot of countries around them, like Lesotho, Eswatini, Namibia, uh, Bosnia, uh, Bosnia uh, Botswana. And yeah, they have a lot of room to expand and not a lot of people to stop them, other than maybe the Congo. But then again, these guys are really unstable. And then, you know, you have the possibility of the East African Federation, but that doesn't even exist yet. And it, it itself is not that strong. So yeah, South Africa has a clear road to victory here. And the first test they carry out is declaring war on Lesotho. Now this country is in a very bad area, if you can't tell already. It's completely surrounded by South Africa. And it, honestly, I'm pretty sure it would just wants to be annexed by South Africa. So will this necessarily be an invasion? I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead and say that they get occupied by South Africa. And eventually a peace treaty rolls around where they are just annexed into the territory. All right, that's already looking a lot better on the map here. Although there is just one more country that's sticking out that I don't like. And that is Eswatini. So let's fix their problem and declare war on them. And this is probably going to go as well as it sounds. Uh, one of the strongest countries in Africa versus... Um, a dot on the map yeah they didn't last very long all right peace treaty and this looks amazingly better on the map uh south africa's borders are very interesting uh this straight line right here i think adds a lot of detail to their borders uh, a lot of people say straight lines are bad i agree in most cases like up here in northern africa with all these straight lines that looks ugly if you watched my fixing the border series you would know that um i'm kind of in between on the whole straight line thing anyway that has nothing to do with south africa because they're wanting to expand even more and expanding up into botswana sounds like a great idea now i'm not going to be having any foreign interference in these wars and by that i mean like outside global powers such as the united states or a majority of european countries china russia anywhere like that so they will be staying out of this war and it will be more of a local foreign interference if any so south african troops push up into botswana and after taking over a majority of the country we have their surrender peace treaty time and they just get fully annexed all right south africa is looking great here and if you look at this map you can see a pretty clear line of where south africa should probably meet to and it lies around the namibian and golan border and runs all the way over here to malawi talking about this line so i feel like the south africa met with that it would look amazing on the map but once again with this whole map thing we're not even worried about that we're just trying to expand south africa here so they declare war on namibia now problem with this is namibia used to be a part of south africa until they gained their independence so a lot of these surrounding countries are not liking how this is turning out over here in southern africa now to be completely honest i'm not 100 percent sure on all uh, relations down here in this region or a majority of africa as a whole other than like the northern and eastern half so if i get something wrong and you're from this area so you have the right to yell at me anyway with south africa's war declaration on namibia we have zambia joining this war in order to save themselves from being invaded later on although they really aren't going to contribute much so now south africa has this two-front war but they're not really worried about it because once again they are one of the stronger countries in africa south african troops push over and into namibia and start to push over their coast while a small force of zambian troops push around the border ultimately they are stopped because they are zambia and uh this is south africa over in namibia we have all of their coasts being captured by south africa and troops entering in from all sides eventually the country capitulates and over in zambia we have their troops getting kicked out and as soon as south african troops walk in we have their surrender so now we have two countries falling to south africa let's go ahead and take a look at this peace treaty all right and just like that south africa has become one of the larger countries in africa probably not the largest but you know in comparison to algeria they do look pretty similar and yeah this actually might end up being one of the larger empires that i do you know obviously the largest was either uh, well it was russia and then the united states and china they were also really large brazil those are just the bigger countries in the world but this is a particularly medium-sized slash smaller country so if i can actually make them snake up into central africa like i plan to uh, this is definitely going to be one of the bigger empires. But anyway, South Africa is still hungry for land, and now they declare war on Mozambique. Now, if you know my mapping videos, you know that I'm just not going to continue to cycle on this process of just invading, winning, invading, winning. I do like to mix it up a little bit. So a plea for help is sent out by Mozambique, and we have the East African Federation responding. Problem with this, this isn't very strong. Um, 
not very strong at all but they do gain the support of ethiopia which makes a whole lot of mess up north somalia declares war on ethiopia as well as eritrea egypt declares war on ethiopia and sudan joins the war on the red team now i'm not too sure about sudan but i did make them go up against south uh south sudan which i know they don't like each other obviously this broke away from sudan so why would they like each other i also know that egypt and sudan aren't relatively on the best terms so this is going to be interesting but uh once again, I will not read your comments. Either way, this looks really bad for the blue team, and they really want some help, although no one's going to help them because, um, yeah, they're, they're going to be in trouble. That's all I'm going to say. So in the south, we have South Africa pushing across the border and capturing a lot of southern Mozambique. I know there's mountains. Be quiet. Push up, and then Mozambique literally gets clapped within a few weeks. Now Tanzania is scared, but they have a lot of wildlife, so maybe they can use that for the war. Up north, we have Ethiopia pushing into Eritrea, and with the help of people in Somaliland, we have them overtaking the entire area. So yeah, Ethiopia is doing good here, but that's just until Egypt gets mobilized, so maybe not for long. Back down south, we have south africa continuing to roll up the coast of africa they take all the coast of tanzania and slowly push into the area although they were having problems with the geography of the region kenya and ethiopia push into somalia and eventually this country starts to collapse and um to be honest somalia isn't in the best of situations in real life they're they're pretty bad off right now so we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that uh, the war didn't kill everybody over in south sudan we have sudanese troops pushing over and capturing parts of the country as well as pushing over into part of ethiopia south africa spearheads over to this ginormous lake and you know me i don't know names which causes the capitulation of tanzania we now have the uh i was gonna make a joke here but that is definitely not appropriate anyway south african troops now cross over into uganda and this is where they start facing a problem they are very far from home and uh oh looks like someone's joining this war it's the drc now would they actually join this war in real life I don't know. Are they joining it in this scenario though? Yes. So now we have Congan troops pushing across and pushing back down into South Africa. This is a huge distraction as they were already running out of supply. And uh, now, now this, this, th this, this exists. And uh, it turns out a lot of people aren't in favor of South Africa's expansion. In fact, we have Zambia declaring war on South Africa. And uh, I know I called Zimbabwe Zambia earlier. I know. Also, we have Malawi uh, joining, but they're not going to contribute too much. They are going to uh, contribute to a huge distraction, though, as a lot of troops from these countries that were already down in Malawi and preparing to push into South Africa. They even managed to cut off them by the coast, and this is not good because now South African troops are isolated in Tanzania and Mozambique. So with this, we have Kenya and the surrounding countries making a slight pushback, but they are heavily relying on the DRC and Ethiopia. Speaking of Ethiopia, they are now getting kicked out of Eritrea and pushed back to their border. In South Sudan, Sudanese and Egyptian troops take over the entire country and this now gives them a huge advantage against Ethiopia. They cross the border and start to threaten their capital, Addis Ababa. Yes, I think that's their capital. And yes, that is the capital of Ethiopia's name. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm going to hope and pray that that is how you pronounce it because that is a very fun capital to say. It kind of sounds like Adis, so like Adis Ababa. So now with Ethiopia getting invaded from the north, we come back down south to where South Africa is very angry. They start to push up into Zambia. Eventually, they meet the border of the Congo. This makes a lot of their troops retreat out of Mozambique and it gives South Africa the uh, the connection back to their northern half. Southern Malawi is invaded. Up north, we have all of our trade getting liberated and we have Egyptian and Sudanese troops crossing the border into the DRC, Uganda, and Kenya. A plan is made to meet up at this lake and they do just that so south africa links up as well as the north and with this we have the two sides being completely isolated malawi decides to surrender as they are not going to last much longer and this is also the same case with zambia troops in kenya start to take control of the country which leads to their surrender this brings back a lot of somalia over here on the coast and now we are down to just the drc in ethiopia now am i extremely extremely overestimating south africa here Yes, I beat you to your comment. But that's how it is with a lot of my empires. I just like to overpower them and, uh, you know, let them have fun. So that's exactly what I've done here. Anyway, with troops pushing into Ethiopia on all sides and their capital at threat, we have them withdrawing all troops from Somalia and going on the complete defense. A lot of Western countries are supplying Ethiopia over here, as well as the DRC. But it just simply isn't enough, although now the red team is having some problems going through the jungles of the Congo. A snowmate is risen across the border of the Congo, and over in Ethiopia, small advances are underway, although it is not enough to push into the country fully. After a few more weeks of fighting, we have the two sides meeting to discuss peace all right peace treaty time so south africa gets a lot of land out of this they get all of mozambique a good chunk of zambia and a good chunk of malawi now these two countries are now extremely weak and most likely they would unite together 
and uh, honestly this wouldn't be enough so they would most likely end up going over to the drc who is su uh, suffering sanctions from this war tanzania also isn't doing too good and we have burundi and rwanda ending up getting annexed by them simply because they uh they really took a toll from the war unification between uganda and kenya happens as once again they took a big hit from the war and up north ethiopia really took a hit as uh, eritrea sudan and Somalia all took land from them. Sudan got to annex all of South Sudan and got a region out of uh, Ethiopia. Uh, Egypt didn't get much, but I'm going to uh, assume that they did get a lot money-wise. This is most likely from like sanctions and uh, war operations and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, this is South Africa's new empire. Is it done yet? Uh, no, we're gonna do one more thing. And that is the invasion of Madagascar. We're gonna go get those penguins. Uh, so this war is gonna be really brief. Uh, we just have South Africa landing on the island and uh moving around the center up the coast and oh no that's south african peace treaty we have the madagascar becoming a territory slash puppet of south africa and this is once again this is going to be one of my bigger empires and yeah south africa um this video was kind of lazy i'm not going to deny that but i've been extremely busy as of lately uh wrapping up school and stuff like that pushing out videos is getting kind of stressful and uh, my motivation is lacking for such a thing but I have a feeling that once we hit 50k, my motivation will be reignited because once again, big things are planned for that. Um, I didn't plan in this to uh, to move into me self promoting. However, subscribe because that's going to help us get to 50k sooner. And hopefully the quality of videos will improve once we get there. By the time you're seeing this video, I am going to be on summer vacation. And uh, by the time I'm recording this also, but um. I, I will be a lot more free free time will be a lot more relevant and which will give me a lot more time to make videos and if i don't feel like it then i don't have to worry about it because there's a whole 24 hours to do so basically i'll be a lot less restricted in what i can and cannot do so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new once again discord server in the description and in the pinned comment it's basically a country and yeah so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video